Lovely. Uh, Wonderful. Kyle. Paul. Oh. So rude. Sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. Thank you. I forgive you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome. I hope you're all having a great and wonderful day. This, if you're just joining us, this is Awesome Hardware. Uh, it's a show. We stream live. We talk about technology, computer parts, and whatever the heck else we want to discuss. We stream every Tuesday evening. Uh, usually we start at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. Started a little late today, but that's fine. Just adds more character. Uh, so the first half of today's episode, which is uh, number 205, I've been doing this for quite some time now, was streamed on Kyle's YouTube channel, Bitwit. It's linked in the description if you missed it. Uh, we're also streaming the entire thing to twitch.tv slash awesome hardware. So thanks to all of you guys who are joining us there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have some news tidbits to talk about today. And then we're going to uh, move right into the after party. Because the after party is fun. Yeah. After party is where we uh, continue to drink some beer. And we do drink some uh, beer on the show. So feel free to join us. Please drink responsibly and make sure it's legal and everything. Cheers. Cheers. Also, tangentially related to the beer drinking, we occasionally uh, use, use la adult language. Um, so watch out for that. And uh, apologies if you're offended. Genitals. All right. Uh, really quickly, before we get back into some technology news, then uh, you should maybe check out our stores. If you want to help support us and get yourself some super sweet merchandise at the same time, Oh yeah. go over to paulshardware.net. You can find hoodies. They have my awesome thumb screw logo on them. Uh, there's also some mugs. There's also awesome hardware merch. You can oh, buy yeah. awesome hardware merch. You can buy it from either of our stores. Uh, we still we still get paid either way. Uh, the captive thumb screw shirt. I I need to get one of these myself. Kyle's wearing it today, which is great. Just, Super comfy. Just look, just look at that shirt. You wear this shirt out out and about in public. You're gonna have people who look at the shirt and. Briefly consider asking you what your shirt means, and then they won't. But you'll know. You'll look. You'll see really quick, and be like, "They were. They were confused." Yes. And, and then, then you will know what it is because it's a captive thumbscrew. You know something other people it's don't. Great. Exactly. So that's why you should buy the captive thumbscrew shirt to make you feel uh, superior to Paul's, everyone else around. Paul's you. Paul's on that. Uh, Bitwit.tech/store is where Kyle's uh, merch is located. You can buy stuff there too. Kyle yeah, recently right. launched a, a striking new logo. Yes, the it's a it's logo. a heatsink. Yes. And uh, very similar to the captive thumbscrew design, people yep. will also not know what the hell this is. Yeah. And so you can feel very superior, uh, assuming that you'll, assuming that you know what it is too, because um, most people don't. But yep. it's a heatsink, so uh, putting one of these on will instantly make you at least fifty percent cooler. It has also been plastered on a wide variety of merchandise for it's, your yeah. purchasing. Yes, it has. Yeah, needs. shirts and hoodies, uh, mugs. That's it. Uh, everything like everything's coming. Uh, everything else is coming soon. Like. The mouse pads, you know, have some hotline color schemes. Um, no, the hoodie will not make you cooler. That's that will actually make you warmer, but you'll look cooler. It's meant to insulate. Yes, not dissipate. Yep. So congratulate your or masturbate. Everyone, tip your server and <laughs> <laughs> masturbate. Okay. Beautiful. Switching back into tech news mode. I have uh, a brief smattering of tech news stories, and then I want to play video games because um, sounds like fun. Yep. Uh, and then I think we're going to get Thai food afterwards. Ooh, okay. I might join you on that. Okay. Uh, first story here is about some new AMD processors that you might not have heard about. Uh, we talked a little bit about these because they were they were kind of rumored and we heard some early spec specifications on them and saw them in some product documentation and whatnot. They are now launched, two of them, and no, you can't buy them. What? No, you cannot what? buy them. What's the... I don't care how much you might want to buy them, no. or how interested you might be, you can't, Why? because these are not for you. They are not for you at all. Huh? These are for system integrators. Aww. Not you, Boo. you stupid DIY builder. Only for system integrators. That's, Scram. It's very mean. Very mean uh, we have that. a 3900, which is a 12-core, 24-thread processor. Sort of a, a little step down for the, the 3900X. That is available to system integrators globally. Wow. And then there's the 3500X, which, in my mind, it would be an exciting processor. There's a lot of interest already in the 3600, yeah. which costs about $200. Um, this is the 4-core? 
This is still threads? six cores and 12 threads. Still six and 12. Still wow. six cores and 12 threads. Hey, oh. A less expensive, maybe slightly less lesser clocked 3600, I think a lot of people would be interested in. But no, you cannot have this. This is for Chinese OEM markets only. What? Yes. Like China. ever? Only in China. You mean forever? I don't know about forever. Oh. Uh, we're hoping that we'll probably, that maybe we'll get these uh, here locally or in the US or other regions as well. But yeah, for I now, think so. the 3500. 3500X down at the bottom of this list, and you'll notice that there is no price listed, huh. is not for you. It's only for Chinese OEMs. Probably... And the 3900X here is not for you. It is only for, uh, well, OEMs globally. That doesn't mean you can't buy it. You just have to buy an entire computer. You can't buy it and uh. install it in your own. I mean, I guess you could buy an entire computer and remove the 3900 and put it in your <laughs> computer, but that wouldn't, wouldn't be very practical. Silly. Uh, 3900 though is a 12 core 24 thread processor with a 65 watt TDP. Uh, in order to hit that TDP, since the 3900X, for example, is 105 watts, uh, you're running at a lower base and boost frequency, 3.1 and 4.3 gigahertz here, compared to the 3.8 and 4.6 of the 3900X. There's probably also going to be some other activities that the 3900 does uh, behind the scenes to make sure it maintains that 65 watt TDP. Uh, still though, I imagine there would be a decent amount of interest in this, especially if it was somewhere Definitely. between the $400 price of the 3800X and the $500 price of the 3900X, especially yeah. given that you can't even find it for that price. Nope. Case in point, last week I ordered one on the show because it was in stock, and I was like, ah, order it right now. <laughs> um, then down here at the bottom is the 3500X, 6-core, 12-thread processor, 3.6 gigahertz base, 4.1 gigahertz boost. This one seems a lot closer to the 3600. Uh, than the 3900X is to the... I'm sorry, than the 3900 mm -hmm. is to the 3900X. 3900 yeah. Um, at least when it comes to boost frequency, we're only looking at a 100 megahertz difference. Otherwise, it is exactly the same. Same amount of cache, same amount of PCIe 4.0 lanes. Still has a 65 watt TDP. And again, no price listed for that because uh, the way it works with OEM parts like this is there there is no public price. You don't know how much is paid. Yeah. Different OEMs probably pay a slightly different price it's all paid to AMD because they're just buying bulk uh, quantities of the chips to put into computers that they're going to sell to people. Mm -hmm. So as a result, there's no official pricing, and this is sort of an in-between product launch, and that's why you probably haven't heard too much, too much about it because it's one of those things they just sort of slip in in between, and now it's going to be out there, and you'll see, you know, systems based on the 3900 for sale, but then you'll be like, how much does that cost if I want to just buy it myself? And you can't. Um, so there it is. Not yet, anyway. Not yet, anyway. I wouldn't be surprised in the least if, 30, if the 3500X becomes a mainstream publicly available part. There's also a 3900 Pro Edition. There have been Pro Editions of, uh, I think, just about all of the AMD Ryzen SKUs that they've launched uh, in the past couple years. First and sec second gen as well. So, um, well, What do the Pros retail for? They're generally about the same price. I feel like they might be... Mm -hmm. They might cost a little bit more. Um, but those those have some enterprise functions built Features, into yeah. them, which I've I, I don't want to try to say what they are right now because I don't remember. But we very good for professional people. <clears throat> Pro professional people should buy them. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we can only really estimate what the prices of these might be. I'm I'm gonna but... say thirty nine hundred if it ever goes on sale will be three sixty nine. 369. I could see it at 349 or 359 for sure. Yeah. Um, Maybe 359. But we'll wait and see. But I think the 3500X will be closer. It'll be like 179. Yeah, 179. Because it's because it's really close it's to the specs. Close. You're just yeah. looking at a uh, slightly lower frequency out of the box, it mm -hmm. seems. Um, but yeah. Anyway. We'll see. We're hoping AMD does expand their product lineup here because although the Ryzen 3000 series has done very well and is very useful in a lot of situations, um, there just there needs to be a little bit more widespread availability, especially of the top end chips, and um, I'd say getting getting a few more entry level options as well would, would be nice. Um, yeah. Yeah. There, there's really good entry level options if you look at the second gen stuff, mm -hmm. but then you miss out on that sweet sweet seven nanometer Zen two. Uh, uh, single core performance, which mm. which a lot of people lust after, um, with great with great lust. Okay, moving on to the next story. This one is uh, bigger on its face than the actual where, where it was actually derived from. 
articles from oc3d.net. Uh, all these articles are linked in the description, by the way, if you guys want to check them out and read um, up on the more of the details. This is actually sourced via videocards.com. Okay. And MSI has revealed MSI. a TRX40 creator motherboard <gasps> via a promotional webpage. Mm-hmm. And you might think, like, oh, there's going to be pictures of it, something Just like that. Just the socket. No, like literally, this is what this is this is what, what? This, this story is. It's right, this right here. Oh my gosh! So MSI made a promotional landing page, which is very common for uh, companies like MSI to do. And on this promotional landing page, they listed this motherboard, the Creator TRX40. Now, there are some. There, I mean, this, this, so so it's just a text listing of a product, but there is some information that can be derived from it for one for one they're probably not going to go to this efforts to integrate something like this into a product landing page unless the product actually exists that's not too unreasonable to assume uh and two is that they're listing it as a trx40 motherboard rather Mm -hmm. than using the uh shorthand code names for the existing (coughs) chipsets that are out there x399 is what threadripper uh, high-end desktop platform is currently based on so to me, that indicates that maybe, yes, there is some validity to the rumors that have been going around that uh, third-gen Threadripper is going to require a new motherboard. You're mm-hmm. not going to be able to just drop it into an existing X399 motherboard, right. um, which I'm sure some people are going to be disappointed with. Um, that TRX-40 said, is the name the, of the hypothetical Yeah, uh, TRX-40, there's TRX-40 chipset. and TRX-80 and then WRX. Yes, right. Uh, and so there's still we're still trying to figure out what exactly the, the distinction is between those based on the sort of slow drip of mm-hmm. leaks and stuff that have been coming out about it. Right. Uh, we are expecting a Threadripper 3rd Gen launch still this year uh, in November, specifically. AMD has come out and said that, yes, they're going to do that, and there's going to be a 24-core uh, Threadripper third gen threader that will be available so safe to assume there's going to be motherboards that will support it this is just sort of the most official thing that's popped up that indicates that yeah uh, these motherboards are in the works and coming soon this is going to be the creator trx40 which is a name that msi has been using for some of its higher end desktop motherboards that are geared towards not just gaming but also uh, content creation uh, and stuff like that it's confusing because they also have their creation boards don't they yeah I think so they have the creator because yeah the, the board that i'm using for my editing system is the x299 creation and they, i just creation for intel and creator is for new egg er, no, for, <laughs> for intel Newegg. it's for amd uh possibly Something like that maybe uh, but I, that could be it yeah i'm not 100 percent sure about that i don't remember any x299 or i'm sorry x399 creator boards but maybe it's a new thing yeah uh, Anyway, just an observation. Uh, rumors that we've already discussed here on the show uh, about TRX40 uh, include support for quad-channel memory, which isn't too surprising since that's already supported for first and second gen. PCIe 4.0, which is very exciting for a platform like this because of the uh, the amount of PCIe lanes that AMD has already provided for first and second gen. Upgrade those to PCIe 4.0, and you just have an insane amount of bandwidth available for mm. add-on cards, storage, all that kind of stuff. So that's cool. Uh, and of course, AMD's Ryzen Threadripper 3000 series processors with a 24 core version promised in November. This actual product page was created for MSI's shout out promotion, uh, which bribes you for purchasing and reviewing MSI products. <laughs> oh no. Bribe probably is not the word they would like me to use, but uh, you can receive up to $25 in Steam wallet. It codes. is what it is. Technically, not a bribe because they're not giving you straight up cash, it's just a Steam wallet code. That's still a bribe. It's not. It's not cash, though. It's just a. The, there's no. It just represents cash. The word cash isn't in the definition of what a bribe is. Yeah, fair enough. But anyway, so uh, that's lame, MSI. I guess that is something that MSI has going on. If Boo. you guys are interested, but that's where it came from. Uh, and uh, and and I, I feel like we've spoken enough about this brief text entry on a landing page for MSI. So let's move on. Uh, Intel. Slashing prices. Slashing prices. <laughs> Look at that. Like Fruit Ninja. Uh, We talked about them uh, significantly cutting the price of their high-end desktop processors, like across the board, uh, which is really cool, at least for the next generation that's coming out. When when you compare prices of their 
uh, 18 core processors and stuff, which have dropped by like a thousand bucks and stuff. They are now doing a similar action with their ninth gen F series chips. And the F and the F series means that there are no integrated graphics. So you have the 9900KF and all of those kind of weird ones in here. But here's the actual chart with the processors that are getting price drops. Their old price, their new price, the discounts listed over on the right, up to 20% off if you look at the 9100F on the bottom of the list. Other than that, though, not, I mean, not terrible discounts, anywhere between 5 and 15%. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, you're looking at about a $25 drop in price per CPU, uh, which, you know, are you going to complain about it being 25 bucks less? I don't know. Uh, this would make it a little bit more competitive with AMD's lineup. Uh, according to Frank Sokui, who is the vice president of client, the client computing group at Intel, they're, they've made this decision to make in processor pricing more rational, which I think is a, it's a very rational way of describing that. Uh, basically, they're saying they, they want to, them to get back into being more competitive with what AMD has out there because that is their direct competitor, and uh, AMD's been doing pretty well recently because they've got the whole 7 nanometer stuff in three, Ryzen 3000, and it's been uh, doing pretty good. I'm really so curious. So Intel needs to make their existing processors more appealing to people, and the best way they can do that is with a price drop right now. So I'd say that is the, the right decision for them to make. I wouldn't huh. say these price drops are suddenly making these screaming deals. Right. Uh, you're still paying, you know, the, look look at like the 9900KF, for example. The, the 9900K goes for about 500 bucks. Old price, and this is the bin. This is the 1,000 unit pricing, by the way. Old price was 488, dropping to 463. A 25 dollar price slight. drop doesn't seem like that much because you're starting out at 500 bucks already. As you go down the product stack, it's it, it looks better because a 25 dollars off is more yep. of a it's a greater chunk of the percentage of that price. Right. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, just thought we'd let you guys know about this. How many people I am, are buying a 9900 KF? I think some people are. Um, AMD sales have been doing really well because of the price and the performance and everything you get out of them. I think Intel still has some products in their stack that are priced competitively, um, depending on what you're planning to do with your computer. Yeah. And I think these changes gives them some more competitive options there. Sure. It's actually slightly disappointing that they're only doing this to the F SKUs mm -hmm. though. Yeah. Like, I don't know why they wouldn't do similar price changes for the ones that have integrated graphics, because right. that would give them a more of a, uh, just a price drop across the board. Mm -hmm. uh, the F SKUs do come with that little bit of a, you know, thing you have to keep in mind where they don't have integrated graphics, um, which a lot of people are fine with, but, um, I find the integrated graphics for Intel process, processors to be very convenient in a lot of situations. Yeah. Um, when you don't need to, you know, you're just doing it. I want to boot it up real quick and test and see if it works. I don't want yeah. to bother installing a graphics card. You can just run off the iGPU. That's you, cool. Funny, funny story um, about that, very relevant, uh, is that I did a, I built a, a dual system recently inside of the Fantex Lux 2 hmm. dual system chassis or whatever, and I had a 3900X and a 9900K, and I had to use the 3900X for the gaming system and the 9900K for the streaming system. I would have loved to swap that those roles, but I ended up having to do it that way because the 3900X, the, the streaming system was mini ITX and that mm -hmm. single PCIe by 16 slot was taken up by the capture card. So okay. I needed integrated graphics on whatever CPU was going to be in the streaming system and the 9900K was the only one that did. So it's quite unfortunate that... You didn't want to go with the 3400G? 3400G for the APU. APU. I already had a 9900K <laughs> lying around. <laughs> and I guess if you got a 9900K, that's that's a little bit more, that's a little bit stronger of a processor. There but. was there was no budget in mind either, so. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess one last thing to mention from the article is that uh, Workstation Xeon W lineup. Excuse me, is also being refreshed. That's down here. Prices again are, uh, they're better than they were compared to Intel's old pricing. Still, I would say not super competitive or like, oh my gosh, it's awesome. You should always buy this now instead of Threadripper. But uh, you do have 
significantly lower prices for 18 core, 14 core, 12 core, 10 core, 8 core, 6 cores, and even down to the 4 cores. Don't buy a 4 core 8 thread Xeon for, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> those exist as well, though, so I, Unless I that's I'd, all you need. thought I'd point it out to you guys. All right, one last news story to talk about here, and that is for all of you air cooling fans out there, and I know there are a lot of you who every time we build some insane water-cooled system is like, what a waste of money that was. Uh, I just have an air cooler, and it works all the time, and, and I've never had a pump fail completely or, a, reliable. or a leak, and it's 100% reliable. I hear you. Which is why <laughs> I don't have any argument for that. <laughs> no rebuttal we're, here. We're silly and we're silly, but uh, but you you have good news though, which is that uh, we've got Noctua all black Chromax series coolers. <gasps> uh, these were just finally launched today. About time. It only took them years, decades. Yeah, I. My God. I first experienced these at Computex 2018, I think, which is about a. Uh, I don't know. 15 or 16 months ago or something like that yep um so we've got three of their really popular coolers the nhd 15 which is the large style 140 millimeter fan based cooler the nhu 12 s which is smaller but still very good cooler 120 millimeter fan configuration for that and the nhl 9i which is a nice. low profile one all these are all black when it comes to the just the fins the mounting the fan it's black no more completely blacked out. No more Noctua colors of maroon and beige or whatever the hell they call their. So their they're colors. just going to discontinue the beige color ones, right? No, I'm pretty sure those are still going to be Why? available. Why? Because because Noctua makes products that go in industrial appliances and stuff like that. But and there's lots of people who don't care. And if you're going to buy a Chromax all black Noctua cooler. And it's ten dollars more than the non-black version. Then they'll go with the non-black version. So it is more expensive. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, well, I'm saying if they're the same price, then there's no point to have the beige ones. I guess zero uh, point. Uh, Imagine if they if they had released the black versions first, and then years later they released the special edition beige. Imagine how many awesome. units they would actually sell of that. They'd sell a bunch. Zero. No one's gonna buy them now if they're the same price. If they're ten bucks more, then you have a case there, but. Here is the, game over for the beige. Here's the Sorry. pricing. NHD 15 is 99 euros, 99 US. How much is one of these? They're listed as euros and US, but that's the same prices across the board. 100 bucks for the D15, 70 bucks for the U12S, 50 bucks for the L9i. Those are the prices. Okay, so it is. It is. You're right. 10 bucks more expensive. What do you know? 10 bucks more expensive. Although well, that's on it sale. It's on sale for 89. So yeah. for the D D15. Eh. Mm, mm. Tough, tough for the same the price, I'd go with the black. I don't know if there's going to be any performance comparisons between these to determine if there's any really cooling it. detriment to the black color or anything like that. <laughs> I would imagine unless it's in direct sunlight, it would probably still be okay. Uh, why did it take so long for Noctua to launch all black versions of their extremely popular air coolers? Our customers have been asking us for all black coolers for a long time, but we're, uh, but we're soldering the fins to the heat pipes in order to guarantee an in order to guarantee optimal performance over many years of usage, and this production process is difficult to combine with coatings. Uh, this is from Roland Messig, the CEO of Noctua. Uh, it took a lot of time and engineering work to find an appropriate coating material for, uh, and production process that gave a satisfactory thermal performance and consistent visual appearance. So if we want to relate this back to talking about the like the launch, delayed launch of Doom that we mm -hmm. talked about on Kyle's uh, half a little bit, um, for as long as Noctua can take to get products out, uh, you can at least give them credit that they take that extra amount of time so that when they launch a product, it is made to their exact specifications and works the way they want it to and everything. I've never had a problem with the Noctua products, so yeah. hopefully that continues with their Chromax line. Uh, and for those of you who like black and orange and were not already aware and didn't watch this video, hey, uh, look at those Linus. There's Linus. I'm going to mute him. I just muted Linus. That's <laughs> uh, anyway, Linus uh, talking here about Noctua. Linus, they did a Chromax LTT edition. Get their um, awesome water bottles. They have some nice looking water bottles. Now. They do have good water bottles. Uh, so there is a little bit of a promotion for anyone who's interested in orange accents for their uh, Chromax cooler. The first 5,000 units of all three of the different versions 
uh, will ship with orange corner pads. And I don't know if there's anything else that goes in here because I didn't actually watch this entire video. But uh, the corner pads, little pads that goes up on the corner of the Noctua fans, it comes with black. So you'll still get black. That's standard. That's standard. But it will also come with the orange accent ones as, as seen here on this Linus Tech Tips Edition NFF12 so that you can make orange and black your Noctua cooler and celebrate your love of Linus Tech Tips, I suppose. Oh, look, they tested them, too. Uncoated black. Oh, look, apparently... Wait, what? Apparently the black was cooler than the uncoated? Degrees, average... Oh, well, U12S, D15. not for the D15S. D15. So they tested and they found that the black version of the U12S Weird. did better. Uncoated version of the, D15 of the D15S S. did a little yep. bit worse. But I'd like to point out that Linus Tech Tips, why are you starting this chart at 52? That is just, don't do that. Oh no. Don't do that. They've gone to too many That exaggerates ratings. the difference between these two things. That is, <laughs> that is not a good way of presenting data. This has been frowned upon multiple times in this industry. Please don't, please don't do that. That's that's an Nvidia. That's an Nvidia tactic right there. And AMD. Uh, AMD's done it before as well. I've, okay, so <laughs> they're both guilty. Anyway, is this one? They did it here too. Starts at twenty six. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Who did who? Who made this video? Let's look at this. I bet they were tested with the computers on the floor. Don't they put credits in here? Twitter? <laughs> no, they don't. They were smart enough to not put a what? credit for who tested. Anyway, I, I take, who, who I take issue benchmarks. with that. Anyway. So, not, uh, Linus Tech Tips edition of this cooler. Do they do all their benchmarks that way? Here. Now we can, we can, here, here's, here's who you should be tweeting. Taryn, Taryn was in charge of quality control. You should have caught that. Everyone tweet but there's to no... Taryn right now, ter at TarynVH on Twitter, and tell him not to start graphs at zero. Shooter's editor, all right, so this is either not... Pele, writer, Pella. writer Pella? just says who? Pella, I think. Writer, Pella? sorry, Pella. Writer, uh, writer is, yeah. Or Taryn. Who knows who oh, the yeah. writer is? I think it's James. But there's no uh, there's no testing credit. It's true. That's a why ghost. I, I would assume the writer would be the person who, who a ghost benchmarked it. Yeah, it could be. Conveniently left anonymous. Obviously, <laughs> they knew there would be backlash, so uh, <laughs> they knew you'd be <laughs> be, be lurking employee. on their on their video. <laughs> Linus Tech Tips starting starting their charts not at zero. <laughs> trying to fool people. Exposed trying, scandal. Trying to trick. Trying to trick Front themselves. page of Reddit. All right. Uh, that's all I got for news, and uh, usually we do at least a couple segments on each half of the show. The second part of my half is going to be the after party, Hell to uh, the which yeah. means we're going to answer questions that have been posted in uh, in chat with the donations. Okay. Which you appreciate. Yep. Uh, we're also going to give shout-outs to people who have happened to order stuff from our stores. Sure. And, which for me is one person, and... Every person I might hits. play a video game, but uh, we'll see. Okay. Yeah, that goes. All right. Uh, I'll start off with some donations, I guess. Okay. Uh, with uh, Kim Skoog. Good Kim, old Kim Skoog. Kim Skoog. With 100 sec. What's S E K? South Egyptian krona. South Egyptian. <laughs> krona. Uh, yeah, like the Norwegian krona, yep. but from South Egypt. Yep, that's what that means. Uh, I would like to see a comparison video Sweden against the States. Most bang for the buck, twelve hundred dollar. Windows needs to needs to reboot your PC to finish installing. No. Direct Play. How about no? What the hell's Direct Play? I don't know. It was something that it wanted in order for you to play Grand Theft Auto Vice City, which I think is stupid. Um, most bang for the buck, twelve hundred dollars, twelve hundred U.S. dollars, or eleven hundred and nine hundred and eleven thousand nine hundred and twenty-eight sec. Best gaming system. Bitwit, you are my hero, or something. Keep it up. I'm not exactly sure what you mean, best bang for the buck. Oh, it is Swedish Krona. Oh, it is Swedish. Okay, <laughs> okay. yeah. I, well, I guess that makes sense. He did say, <clears throat> he did say Sweden against the States. Um, it was 100 which is t uh, ten about $10. In case you're wondering. Oh, okay. So, sorry, what was the question? So, if, wait, t really quick. Punch in, for the uh, Krona, Paul, uh -huh. punch in 11,928. 20... Eight. 
Okay. Twelve hundred dollars. So I guess he just—he's curious. He'd like to see a comparison video on how how far your mileage would go with twelve hundred dollars in Sweden versus the United States, um, because components are not priced evenly globally. You know, no, like they're Australia, not. it's like expensive as hell because they're a big ass island and they're far away from everything. I don't know what the prices are like in Sweden, but that'd be kind of an interesting. That would be an interesting video, not just those two uh, countries, but like a multitude of really popular, like you know, I th- big countries and what PC parts cost in each of them. I did a I've comparison been, in Japan, and it was really expensive there. Yeah, um, I've I've been asked to do videos like this before, mm-hmm. and attempted to. I don't know, like. It's really hard to try to find pricing in a region that you're not in. Unless yeah. unless you can VPN right. uh, over there, which is possible. Sure. Um, it's hard to determine if you're getting, you know, if, if, you, if you're getting, a, a, or... A, or if you're getting a complete view of what's available, you know, yeah. like you might be, you might be finding a website that just right. says jacked up prices or anything like that. So it, it's, it's hard. It's hard to figure out what pricing would be like somewhere that you're not um what if what if it's like the you know amazon eu or something yeah i mean that'd that'd, that'd be possible um but i i feel like and some countries have like kind of a go-to online retailer Uh uh-huh that might have really good pricing that you might not be aware of yeah something like that right um but yeah uh mind factory i i i'm completely interested in this topic when it comes to like how much you know, here's a here's what a thousand dollars can buy you in the U.S. Mm-hmm. for a computer. Yeah, what would that get you in a different country? Right. I just have no idea how to go about yeah. making a good video on that topic. Right. I could I could hack something together trying to do it remotely, but right. I, I I wouldn't be confident that I was giving actual people who live in whatever that country realistic. Is. Yeah. relevant facts yeah, yeah. So. i think the best way to do it would be to get in contact with people who live in the country you need a fixer you need a fixer need from fixes. that country yeah to help figure your stuff out right that that'd be it yeah. that's a really interesting uh question though and and uh proposition mr kim skoog we'll uh we'll take that into consideration um mb67 as always mike 13 dollars and 37 cents kyle the only time i go to fries is hey, when mike. our local car group meets up in the empty parking lot cheers oh. <laughs> Looks like the Fry's shelves aren't the only things that are empty these days. Um, Do you remember? Ever remember Fry's having like um, Fry's? They should have sold. Fries. They'd have like promotional events where you could go and get like a hot dog and a Coke for twenty five cents or something. Really? You remember that? It's like Costco level. Yeah. Well, that's what they did. They went to Costco and bought a bunch of hot dogs. Oh, and really? Sold them in their parking lot for twenty five cents wow. each. Wow. But I don't. I don't know how effective those were. Clearly, they're not helping them now. Thanks, Mike. AFAF Tech, five dollars. I was the first person you met at LTX 2019. Wow! Oh. It's my birthday on Friday, and my sister's on Saturday. Could you give Alexis a happy birthday shout out? Alexis, happy friggin' birthday! Happy birthday, Alexis! I hope it's really magical and awesome. Cheers! Cheers to both of you. Happy birthday to both of you. You know what? Uh huh. Uh huh. It's my birthday tomorrow. So, Libra's in the his house. Yeah. Birthday's tomorrow. It is. October 9th, right? Yep. It's fucking tomorrow. We'll be 31. Someone shoot me. So, yeah, we can celebrate together in our minds and in our hearts. I didn't know your birthday was tomorrow. It is. Yeah. I don't feel bad. I, haven't, I didn't get you anything. <laughs> don't, don't, don't feel bad. <clears throat> I, I, don't think, I, I don't think I'm doing anything. It's 31. No one cares about 31. Yeah, it's a big letdown after the dirty 30. Yeah, it really is. For sure. You don't get anything exciting until 35, because then you're like midway to 40. That's sort of a big milestone. Oh, yeah, it's really exciting to get to <laughs> that <laughs> to point. To be midway like, to well, 40. Halfway between not, 30 and 40. You're not 40 yet, are you? No. This year, though. Next year. This year. <laughs> the size. The size is everything. <laughs> the size worth a million words. You know... In my mind, I'm still a sprightly <laughs> still youth. Still sprightly boy. <laughs> of, yeah, exactly. Still have my knickers about me. <laughs> with means. knickers, I don't know why. <laughs> what do knickers have to do with anything? I don't know. Okay. Let's move on. Um, Paul's side. MB30, MB, MB67, $13.37. Hey, Thank you, sir. Paul, I couldn't help it. I got a couple of those all-black Chromax air coolers, even though LTT is associated with them. Cheers. Ah. 
Ah, well, it's fine. And, and LTT is harmless. And you have to consider, like, it's 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 a launch promotion that they're doing. So anyone who wanted to buy the coolers anyway, who doesn't care about Linus Tech Tips, all the all of the differences is there's a LTT sticker on the box, right? And then I think there's the orange corners in the in there Can you as well. Just buy the orange corner separately if you. Yeah, yeah. To? They sell they sell the colored. Uh, that was their whole Chromax thing when they first launched it a couple years back. Was you could have some covers for their existing coolers, and then you could buy some accent colors. Um, with, you know what would have made it? Stuff. Is if they, like, if they had, like, 50 pallets or something of these limited edition coolers that they, like, actually had Linus, like, drop on a forklift. Like, he was, like, lifting them with a forklift, and then he, like, toppled them over, and they may arrive damaged, they may arrive, like, they might be perfectly fine, but they might not be. I feel like people would, go, the draw. people would go ape shit. Like, Linus actually dropped this cooler. Like, that would have been a Genius marketing tactic. You can have that one for free for next time, Linus. I don't know if that's something I would invest in. I would. I, I'm I definitely sure would. There's some people who might. I buy with emotions and not logic. It's the first thing that's I would good. buy. It's the, it's the first, first thing I buy. First rule of capitalism. Yes, indeed. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, moving on to Angel An Angel or Angel. 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 Uh, Hernandez, five dollars is a seven hundred and fifty watt PSU enough for a Threadripper twenty nine fifty X and an RTX twenty eighty. Should be okay. Yeah, you should be all right. Uh, you should be good. You don't have a whole lot of headroom, depending on what you're doing. I mean, the the thing about if it was a TI. The thing about considering consider. power supply wattage is like, by and large, you're going to be drawing, you know, three four hundred watts with that system while you're doing stuff with it. Yeah. But you have the potential for spikes. Spikes. Yeah. Spikes are what you want to make sure can be handled by the power supply. Sure. Most good power supplies, most good 750 watt power supplies, could handle spikes above that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think you're fine. Um, if you were considering like a 2080 Ti or a significant amount of overclocking, or you want to drop like you know 10 mechanical hard drives plus a bunch of extra storage in there, you put a bunch of extra devices that are drawing more wattage from it, then you might consider. An upgrade, but I, th I think by and large you're fine. You're good. Uh, yeah. Um, that's play... all for donations. Good, good. I'm gonna play Civilization. I'm gonna play Civ. Well, I oh. can't play any Blizzard games, Kyle. Why? Because you support the Hong Kong movement. <laughs> it was a headline article on on a multitude of. I know. So I was just making a pop culture reference to that. Okay. Didn't didn't have any other deeper meaning we didn't, besides I saw we, that on we didn't, online we didn't today. We didn't attempt to discuss that on on the show today. I don't think we needed to. It was it was already well discussed elsewhere. It was definitely something. It definitely seemed out of character for Blizzard. No. No. Really. I mean, it's, I guess I don't know Blizzard at all then. Ten cent. Oh, they own them. No, they don't own Blizzard, but they own a, a significant share. Share. I forget exactly how the much. Big shareholders. For Activision Blizzard. Uh, fuck. Yeah, it's I a, forgot about that. It's that a makes like. Sense. I. That's why we have beer. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I. What were we saying? Sorry. It's one of those topics I either want to discuss. Extensively. Right. Or not at or all. Or not at all. Sure. I get that. And I, I had an I had an initial response to it earlier today. Uh huh. That you were gonna like, I did, post I on did, Twitter or something. No, or, I, uh, or maybe on the show. Every morning I wake up and I read some, some terrible shit. There's some shit. And I and I briefly consider like I should post something on Twitter about this, and right. then I, I almost always decide Refrain. not to. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's <laughs> my, Probably for the best. It's my yeah. regular I mean thing that I go on like, oh the world is a horrible place. <laughs> I need to say something Everyone about this. No, to... I. It's I not worth know. it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah. know anything. I don't know anything about anything. No, I know. No one does. I don't no. want to know anything. I no wanna... one ain't knowing nothing. Yeah. Just drink your beer. <laughs> like, all right. So, so if I wanted to to to, to just say my my fundamental feelings about this, sorry. Mm -hmm. If you guys aren't familiar, uh, Blizzard. Game developer for quite some time. Made some really good games, including World of Warcraft, Overwatch, uh, the Diablo series. Uh, they have some... StarCraft. They, they have some 
some heavy IP that they've been developing for quite some time. But over the past few years, they've also gotten some negative uh, press. They were There was a merger purchase with Activision when they became Activision Blizzard. Um, they had a huge amount of layoffs, mm-hmm. like 800 people laid off or something. That was a, that was pretty sad. Um, I don't know how many months ago that was. And um, most recently, uh, Hong Kong, there's been a protest going on in Hong Kong for the past three plus months. It's been incredibly impressive in my, in my mind to see mm-hmm. the people of Hong Kong repeatedly coming out day after day to protest because they're fighting for their rights. They've, yeah. they've been living under a, a certain set of rules for an extensive amount of time. For that, you have to go all the way back to like uh, when 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 Great Britain was... There was a 99-year plan. Was good. There's, there's a lot of history. Yeah. This, is, this is why I don't want to discuss it. There's a lot of history involved there. Sure. Um, so China, being China and being huge, is, is exerting a huge amount of... Uh, of influence They're just waving their dick around globally basically. to try to quell this uh hong kong uh the, the protests going on in hong kong yeah hong kong like basically they just they want to keep having their independence. free speech yeah. and uh, a certain amount of independence and they don't want china to have the ability to come in and take any person from hong kong and yeah bring them back to mainland china and then have them disappear or whatever right or something like that so right anyway all this has been going on at the same time, Blizzard has uh, international gaming tournaments that go on. Hearthstone is one of them. One of the Hearthstone players, uh, who is based in Hong Kong, made it, said something. It's like a two-line thing mm-hmm. in support of the Hong Kong protest. Was he saying it on stream or in a tweet or something? It was what part was of it medium? was part of a it was part of a an event that was going on. It was an event, um, and he and and it should be made clear he he broke their rules. They have rules. That they're stated if you're a streamer, if you're a, if you're a gamer in their tournament about making certain statements about certain things, uh-huh. and you may or may not agree with that rule with those rules, but right. the fact is that he broke them. Right. Um, they they canceled him basically. They took away his winnings, which I thought was pretty messed up. And the Fuck. other and the I didn't realize the that. shoutcasters who were interviewing him when he said the stuff, and the shoutcasters, if you watch the clip, they like hid. As he was saying the things, because they know the amount of heat, like that heat and flack that, that's going on right now because of the ongoing Hong Kong protests. Holy so, shit! Anyway, all the, all of this stuff was um, <laughs> yeah, and there and 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 all this stuff is me accessing the stuff, that, you know, from articles I've read and everything. So you're hearing it from me. You've read it from somewhere else. So um, yeah. Anyway. Uh, there's a huge amount of uh, negativity going lo- towards Blizzard today and people canceling game subscriptions and stuff like that because they felt like Blizzard shouldn't have taken sure. this act- action. Some, a lot of um, people in chat are saying that the casters actually told him to say it. If they did, I did not catch that. So I, Or maybe they said he w- he said, I'm going to say something, and they were like, yeah, I say it, say it, and then they... Uh, I, I, I don't know... Yeah, I'm yeah, they egged him on to it. say it when he did. They yeah. acted like they were surprised. Oh, that's fucked up. Like, for me, what it boils down to is, like, fundamental rights of people. I think freedom of speech is very important. I think the ability to discuss things openly is important. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, so for all of those reasons, I kind of sympathize with the caster in this scenario. But anyway. Um, with the caster or with the, the gamer? Uh, the gamer and the casters. I'm sorry. I I, I feel I, I personally don't think Blizzard made the right decision. Right. Uh, in the, in this situation, I think yeah. they they maybe could have handled it differently or whatever. But um, yeah. Yeah. I so they that like like so many things right now they're they're like it's so it's so messy to dig down into and discuss because if you know uh, anyway. Um, it's very touchy. It's all very touchy. This is why I didn't want to. This is why I didn't want to discuss it. Yeah. And like people saying like politics need to stay out of gaming and stuff like that. Like our basic fundamental human rights politics is that like <laughs> yeah. that's what I that's what it comes down to me like oh it's just politics I'm like well but if they're denying people their fundamental rights yeah 
I don't think that's politics. I think that's human rights. Right. But anyway, this is this is another yeah. reason why. I'd... Okay. So, it's all that said, blurry line in the sand. Uh, all that said, yeah, and and you know, yeah, I I I've been very impressed. Like of all the stuff going on globally right now, the thing I think that has given me sort of this like a little bit of a spark of hope or some, like sort of a even though the situation there is very dire like what the people of hong kong have been doing is oh my inspirational to me yeah it's insane um the fact that they've kept it up so long the fact that yeah. it's such a small population uh at odds against such a massive uh country of china and and, and they're all coming out like, like they're all like unifying yeah it's and the, the way they've been doing things the way they've handled adversity in certain situations when it has turned turned violent the way they've handled stuff like just uh, like you see a bunch of clips of like innovative ways that they're handling like sm like uh smoke grenades tear, and all tear gas tear and stuff gas. that's yeah. being sent to them and it's right. like mm -hmm. yeah so anyway um it's pretty I, fucking so, inspiring so yeah, i i feel for sure i feel very sympathetic towards the movement because of that definitely um, but you know anyway all right they're the underdogs and we did get into this, some discussion there of something that i wasn't necessarily planning to discuss so that's um, harmless yeah, I we, think, we don't have any partnership with Tencent. We can say yeah. whatever the fuck we want. I think overall it comes down to like if you can step back from any situation and just view people as people, mm -hmm. wherever they come from, whatever they look like, yeah. view people as people, yeah, and have a basic level of respect and dignity towards everyone else. I think, I think that's what keeps the world going. So anyway, without, without getting too dramatic or anything like that. So uh, all right. Blizzard. I was gonna play Civilization, which it says is running, but oh, here we go. Forgot they made a launcher now. How funny that you're playing a game called Civilization. I know. I'm talking I'm about to civilizations. Civilization. <laughs> overall, but, um... it's too real. <laughs> this game's so lifelike. All right. Uh, do we have any other any more questions that's, that popped in? We did have a donation from Nightburn the... that popped in. Five oh, yeah. Canadian dollars. Having RAM anomaly. Ram Gigabyte X470 Gaming 5 Wi-Fi. RAM specs not showing in Task Manager. Also, will it work with 3600X? Also, you both rock. Thank you for having us rock. Um, yeah, the 3600X should be perfectly fine with an X470 board. Mm -hmm. And why your RAM specs aren't showing up in Task Manager? Are you looking at the right tab? And... Task Manager is generally not my go-to when it comes to system, yeah, like, live system performance. Yeah. Um, Hardware info is good. Yeah. Um, if you just want a quick at-a-glance, then uh, CPU-Z has a memory tab where you can easily check the, the, the frequency that you're operating at mm -hmm. uh, and timings and things like that. CPU-Z is probably your, like, most lightweight, quick utility mm -hmm. that you can just download really quick, mm -hmm. run Easy to several, find. several tabs for different uh, parts of your system that you can... Pull up, look directly, and be like, oh, my memory is running at this frequency and at this cast latency and everything like that. Um, yeah. Or your CPU is running at this frequency and this Yar. voltage or whatever else. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, that's Smoking it. good. This is just a random question from YouTube chat. Will you ask me if I'm going to take part in No Shave November? Yes. Uh, I've been doing that the past couple years. Mm. I've never done something like attached to it where like do people do when you were in in grade school did you ever do like a a fundraiser where you go and you get people to sign up for a certain amount of money and you're like i'm gonna run laps and for every lap you pay this amount of money or something like that you ever did you ever do any of those no nothing no? nothing involving physical activity because i was a lazy <laughs> shit okay well no shave november i feel like some people have done like fundraisers along with it like you know pay money and okay. watch my beard grow or something yeah. like that i, I don't I can know see that. um but anyway i don't uh, want to do anything like that i just look like a i don't know i just look super nasty when i when i try to grow up my my beard because i don't get a full beard like you do a, a beard no but it's not like a full beard this is like a half-ass like extended five o'clock shadow you know, like I don't get like a full lumberjack beard. Like you can okay. grow a full white man's lumberjack beard if you want to, very easily. I, I'm patchy. I like see how like there's no, nothing filled in on this side. See, it's like empty right here on my cheeks. That never like I could just let it grow for ten years and this would this part of it would still be empty. Okay, it doesn't look good. 
doesn't look good. It looks like, uh, you know, I got a bunch of pubes on my face or something. So, No Shape November does not do me well. All right. You well, just look like a burly, manly man, and... I just probably just pimping all the bitches. I need to I need to I talk to Wifey Sauce about yeah. the potential for like some some cream or stuff because that's my problem is it starts cream, to grow out yeah. and then it starts to get curly and then it gets itchy and I mm. I've, I know there's some more there's apparently some beard care products that I should right I should look into if I want to get around that situation. All right, uh, Andrew Fowl, thank you for your two dollar donation. Fowl. No question asked, so. Uh, thanks for your donation. Thank you. Nightburn did a follow-up. He said, all RAM showing correct in hardware monitor. Thanks. Cool. Uh, that means you're probably okay. I would I would trust hardware monitor over task manager. Yes. Uh, and make sure you uh, go into your, your UEFI setup for your motherboard and uh, enable your XMP values for your memory. Timings, um, so voltage. That's probably going to be the easiest way to get your uh, memory running at... The frequency it's rated for. Uh, Dalton P with a five dollar donation. If you had a choice for sixty five watts only and you mostly game and rarely stream, would you get the thirty seven hundred X or the thirty nine hundred? I would go with the thirty seven hundred X. I think uh, you're going to get higher single core frequency out of the thirty seven hundred X versus the TDP limited thirty nine hundred. Um, this is pure speculation on my ha uh, part, by the way. I should point that out. But I would probably lean towards the 3700X, especially if you're rarely streaming. Even if you're rarely streaming, a 3700X is still an 8-core, 16-thread processor, which can easily handle gaming and streaming in uh, most situations, I believe. Uh, okay. Andrew Follow with a $1 donation. Just keeps doing little donations. And Koring... I can't read your name, sir. I'm sorry. Koringanda Mayel Glambam. Tam. Glam Bam. Mayan Glam Bam. Glam Bam. Interesting. Glam Bam. Uh, 40 oh, of the 40 currency. Ryzen Rupees. 5 3500 review. We'd have to get our hands on one. But I feel like it would be less practical to do a review of that because you can't be like, and here's why you should buy it because no yeah. one can. You have to buy it in an integrated system. Maybe so you when they actually the come overall system release. cost. Yeah. I, I'm... I feel like there must be a 3500, 3500X coming for regular launch as well. Based on history. Who knows when that will actually happen, though, of course. Yeah. Uh, okay. We have taken up enough of your time, I think, today. Uh, sorry the show was a little bit on the shorter side today, but... Um, I have two Johnsons. For some reason... Oh, you've got a couple... Oh, yeah, Johnsons. We do have a couple Johnsons. For some reason, today, everything seemed difficult. I don't know why. Those right. days do happen. It's one of those days it was rough where for me everything too. was challenging. Yeah. But we got through it. Um, thank you very much, Loana, from Bonn, NW, NRW, Germany. I don't know what NRW is. I'm not Neither familiar with the Germanic geography, but uh, thank you very much, Loana, for picking up a BioSlasher shirt, CPU Cooler Navy Blue shirt, and a new heatsink logo in solid black tri-blend. <clears throat> Uh, Mitch T. from Dallas, Texas. Mitch T. Thank you very much for purchasing the Thumbscrew Black T-shirt. You're gonna, you're gonna enjoy it. It's a great shirt. It's got a thumbscrew on it. Almost as much as you'll enjoy... Johnson for you, by the way. CPU Cooler Gaming Desk Mat and CPU Cooler Heather Dark Gray T-shirt, Mr. A, Kyle. That's a different person. That's another Kyle. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, Kyle, Kyle from, D. From Tennessee. Kyle D. from Saudi Daisy. Wow, that's the name of a city. Saudi Daisy, Tennessee. What a what a name. That is an interesting name for a city. What a story, Mark. Uh, Joseph M. from North Carolina. Come on and raise up. Take your shirt off. Spin it around your head like a helicopter. Uh, he got the thumbscrew keycap. Excellent choice. Beautiful. Excellent choice. Thank you very much, Joe. Glorious. Uh, for your purchase. Johnson's to all you guys out there. Uh... But don't one, go one, anywhere. One last donation from Todd Reynolds. Two dollars. GTX 980. Painful wife. Give no money. Help. Painful wife. Todd, then don't spend your money on oh. a, on a chat comment. Save your money. Save your money and upgrade your GTX 980. Wife, give no money. Nine, Wait, nine, nine are, are not you terrible? Are you expecting your wife to give you money? I, it's hard to tell. Is that what he's saying? Exactly from that. But um, hmm. all right, we are gonna do a uh, a, raid, a raid for you guys. So if you are watching live, uh, whether you're on Twitch or on YouTube. Uh, 
go over to twitch.tv slash coolness. Coolness. Which is spelled K-O-U-L-N-I-S. K-O-U-L-N-I-S. He currently has five viewers. Five. Uh, but he's playing first, Destiny two. Birth, birth Week shenanigans. What, he's Does that mean he had a child recently or something? Potentially. Oh. That's exciting. Ask him what the, uh, the birth week's all about. So go over and uh, raid, raid coolness there on Twitch. Thank you guys so, so much for your participation today and everything. For watching our show. For your yes. support. Yes. We greatly appreciate it. Thanks to Your Everyday Tech for your consistent mm -hmm. making of the th of the timestamps. Uh, thank you, Sal. And crafty thank you, Sal and Crafty, for we love you. moderating. Thank you to Munich for thank this Oktoberfest beer, which we drank. Yes. Maybe a, th maybe a third of Paul's so, hardware so for we got providing the glasses, and and to all of you. Yes, for making this show possible, along with the grant for the WM Keck Foundation. <laughs> we're uh, we're gonna go eat Thai food now. Oh yeah, Thai food. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye. God's